that we know that there's opportunities that are gonna exist and we need to prepare our students for that. The problem relies that there's a culture obstacle there where when you grow up as a migrant farm worker and as a child of parents that are farm workers and you are trying to leave that lifestyle, you're gonna have some, some difficult conversations that you're gonna come about when you are trying to leave the home or the nest and seek other opportunities. Um, you know, education can be a double sword in this, in this area and you gotta be very careful in how you approach and how you work with parents in that sense, with, especially with migrant farm working families because um, they may see the child that is succeeding in leaving the nest as somebody that is not going to, to be with them anymore and has left the company because you are no longer contributing to the farm worker. We're leaving, we're, we're, we're living a, a lifestyle, archaic lifestyle where you were a contributor to helping your family make a living where your, your bucket of tomatoes will no longer contribute to paying the, the electric bill or the water bill. And uh, therefore, you know, studying and going to school for four to eight years is not going to help the family immediately. We know as educators that obviously education is the key, but we have to be careful in how we approach that so that we can work with the parents that are living in that and they're counting on the students and their children to help contribute to the expenses in a day by day. We didn't grow up with a silver spoon in our mouths that we can say, hey, we have this much money saved and therefore, you know, go to school and uh, we don't have to count on you to help us anymore. That's not the case here. The case is that I count on Juanito to help contribute in, in his gonna. I, I need that $30 that he's gonna make that day because that's gonna cover the food on the table next week, okay? These, these things are, are never easy. So let me say in Spanish so that they can um, hear me. Este, eh, la educación es, es algo importante, es algo que nosotros como educadores estamos tratando de, de inculcar a nuestros hijos, ¿verdad? Yo tengo tres hijas y quiero que ellos vayan y estudien a la ciudad, pero yo crecí en una familia migrante y yo sé que, que la educación puede tener puede tener una espada verdad de dos filos porque si estamos tratando de, de que los hijos superen pero a la vez eh, estamos como padres en una familia que creció trabajando sabemos que necesitamos la ayuda de ese hijo que contribuyó a um, su trabajo ese día que ese dinero lo vamos a usar para pagar los biles entonces si él ya no está con nosotros y si está estudiando eh, eh, ya no podemos contar en él Sí, sí sé que ¿verdad? él va a estudiar cuatro o ocho años, pero eso cómo va a ayudar a la familia inmediatamente. Entonces hay que verlo de esa manera. Eh, la educación es algo que tiene que, que ser algo como una familia, hablarse y, y tratar de, de, de haber. Y es difícil porque no hemos pasado por ahí. Y entonces hay que, hay que ver eso de esa manera.